What's up, YouTube? Special shout out to my.tv. It's a cool alternative to YouTube if you're trying to upload your videos and grow your audience, get friends, subscribers, comments, and all that. If you're trying to grow your audience, go check out my.tv. It's a cool little website. All right, as you read the title, this is a tutorial on how to do uh, voiceovers and dubs for both the Mac and the PC. But before I get into showing you how to do it, I want to give you guys a couple quick tips. You don't need any special type of equipment. You just need a computer with at least a built-in mic. But if you have a USB mic, that would be better. And you just need a pair of headphones. And that's all you need. One tip, another tip I would give you is um, make sure that your room is quiet when you're recording. Quiet as possible. Turn off the TV. Close the window so the wind isn't blowing. Make sure somebody's not having sex behind you and blah, blah, blah. Because when I watch your videos on YouTube, I do not want to hear someone in the background crying or humping each other or a freaking a squirrel or something. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure your room is quiet. Another tip I would say is I can show you how to make these videos all I want, but when it comes down to it, what you say and how you say it matters the most. You need to learn to come up with funny things to say, of course. So if you're not funny, it's no point in making these videos. And... You need to learn how to control the pitch of your voice. As you can see that, if you if you watch my videos, you would think that my voice is just naturally high, when actually my voice is low. It's not like, you know, like freaking the lowest, but you know, my voice isn't just naturally high. That's a character that I go into and it's something I develop, and that's something you had to develop as well. I'm not saying that you need to stand in front of the mirror for eight hours a day going No, I'm just saying, before you hit the record button, Practice a couple times over it and then hit record. That's all. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. If you are a Windows user, I am currently a Mac user. If you're a Windows user, I would just say skip to probably about the halfway point. Uh, I don't know. About the halfway point and you, it'll tell you how to do it. Because there's no point in watching the Mac tutorial. Alright, let's get it. iMovie. Hey! Like Dreamcast? Hmm. Alright, let's go. Open up iMovie. Import your movie. If you don't know how to do it, this is like easy baby stuff. Go to File, Import, Movies. A menu will pop up. Find your movie. Blah, 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 blah. It'll appear in your events. And then what you want to do is you want to click and hold your mouse. And then choose what you want to use. Let's just say we're going to use this. This is old footage from the Shamwell video. Press and hold. Drag it onto your timeline. And bam. But it's still audio in the video. Oh, no. So what do we do? Basically, what you want to do is you want to double click the video, go over to the audio tab on the right, and then reduce it down to 0%. Now, when you play back the video, the video is yours. You can say what you want, it's quiet. The world is yours. The world is yours. <laughs> All right. Now, here comes the fun part. Now that you're ready to record, you go on down here to the microphone button. You're going to get a few options. I don't, I don't like how it appears up here. I drag it down to here. You're going to get a few options. Record from is one of them. If you're going to use the built-in mic, then you really don't need to touch this. But if you have a USB mic that's of higher quality than the built-in one in your Mac, then go ahead and click right here when you, after you plug it in, and it'll appear right here. Okay. Now here's another major setting. The voice volume, the input volume. Basically, I like to use mine at 25%. What this does is makes how loud your voice is when you record because if you leave it at 100% it's just absurdly loud and if you don't believe me I'll give you an example right here I'm turning it up I'm turning it up and as you can see my power level is over 1,000 1, 1, 9,000 I mean ha, that was a terrible Dragon Ball Z reference um, yeah so you see it's like in the red zone over 9,000 so I like to leave it at 25% you don't have to do it at 25% that's just what I'm comfortable with like I said you know choose what you're comfortable with when you're ready to record Come back up here, find where you want to start recording, and then click the click the mouse. Oops. Click the mouse, and you'll get prompted. And then you start talking like, "Hey man, you gotta get this money, man, because everybody hating on me. You know I'm just trying to live my life, shit, way, you know what I'm saying? Like Dragon Ball Z. Hey, I just said some random stuff. And then if you want to see how it plays back, it, it, it puts a clip right here. And hit spacebar, play and it back. Start talking like, hey man, you gotta get this money, man, because everybody hates on me. You know, I'm just trying to live my life. Shit, way, you know? So basically, that's what it does. Now, this is where plugging your headphones comes in handy. Plug them in. Say you forgot to say something during the clip, and the last clip that you recorded was just really good, but you just forgot to say one thing, and you're in a lazy mood, so you just wanna. 
kind of get that one thing in there. What you do is you can create a layers of audio. Um, basically, click where you want to start, and then it'll start recording over it again. Make sure your headphones are plugged in. And as you can see, it creates a layer of audio right there below it, or wherever you had started. So if you miss something, you can just start it from right there, and then you can just go in, and that'll save you a lot of time. Other than that, when you're when you're done recording, just hit share, export, movie, blah blah blah. And that's how you do it on the Mac. Now let's do it for the Windows. Now, I am a Mac user, I do not own a Windows, but I've owned Windows for over 20 years and I just made the switch, so I didn't just forget overnight how to do it for Windows. Now, if you have a newer Windows computer, a Windows 7 one, it's not gonna come with the type of Movie Maker that I, I like to use Movie Maker 2.6 when I had it. So if you don't have Windows Movie Maker 2.6, I'll leave a download link in the description box on where to get it because most Windows, the new ones, they come with Windows Movie Maker Live and I hated it. I just absolutely hated it all over it. So um, get Movie Maker 2.6, it's just easier to use. Basically on, on Movie Maker, turn it on, you want to go to Import Video. Remember this is a picture so I can't actually click the stuff, I'm just giving you kind of a quick guideline. You want to click Import Video, it's going to appear in your collections right here. And let's say that I'm clicking this flower picture. You want to go there, press and hold it, and drag it down to video. Then you want to go to the microphone button. Click on the microphone button, and then a new menu will pop up right here. And it'll give you some options to adjust how loud you want your voice to be. And then it'll also say start recording and stop recording. So just hit start recording. And then, uh, of course, you gotta first you gotta pick where you want to start recording. Then hit start recording. And then say what you're gonna say. And then what you said will appear in the audio timeline. And then after that, that's it. It's ridiculously easy on Windows. There's far less settings than there is in iMovie. So that's how you do it. A dub in Windows. Other than that, if you have just have any more questions, let me know. Uh, that's all I got to say. Deuces. I got half on an ounce. Who the fuck try to smoke? If you ain't, you should bounce. Yeah, I spit till I ball. Yeah, I drink till I fall. Got these goopy hoes waiting by the phone till I call. In that day, gon' be never. Bitch, I'm bucking at whoever. Now this ain't Marvin's room. But y'all rappers could do better at your crew neck like a.